It is a light heavyweight matchup between John Jones and Alexander Gustafson. All right, so here he is, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafson. There was some retirement talk a few years ago, but he seems to have his head screwed on right now. Came back with that huge knockout of Glover Teixeira not all that long ago that many argue was the best performance of his UFC career. Yes, and I'm glad that Alexander Gustafson is still here. Yeah. Because why would you leave when you still are so valuable to everything that happens in the UFC light heavyweight division? A very, very skilled striker underrated wrestling has scored takedowns on some of the best wrestlers the ufc light heavyweight division has ever seen tall big great cardio a fantastic fighter is alexander gustus and he's going to hang around at least long enough to realize a third crack at that elusive ufc light heavyweight tuck all right so here he is one of if not the greatest to ever put on a pair of four ounce gloves John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Both fighters are 33. Jones will have a five inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands. Six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA! Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go. John Jones and Alexander Gustafson set to run it back. Of course, their first meeting at UFC 165, one of the greatest fights in UFC light heavyweight history. You wonder if Gus might change the approach here, though, as they meet again and maybe take some more calculated risks to really try to get John's out. He really needs to be a little more aggressive in this fight. In the second fight, 
He didn't fight to his full potential. He feels as though he left a lot inside of the octagon and still believes he is the guy to beat John Jones. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Boy, Todd Plump. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big kick lands. Single collar tie now. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. 27 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Gustafson. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh! All right, let's move now. Let's breathe. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Effective punch there by Gustafson. That was a thudding leg kick. How about that shin? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Two minutes remain in the round. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. He got him. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice loop to punch. Take him down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Spinning back fist is there. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good one. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round.
All right, here we go, folks. Round two, Johnny Bones Jones and Alexander Gustafson. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right front. On the way. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Gustafson gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Right hand punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Yeah, he's coming up next. It's a lightweight tilt between. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and miss by Jones. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Put your hands oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Jones is circling now towards the left. What a body kick. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. And the connection rate pretty good, 44% accuracy tonight against John Jones. Back and forth we go. Head kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, so two truly elite strikers. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Alexander Gustafson. Just out of range with that right hand. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. Just missed with the left there. Right hand on point. Right, he engages the same nicely done with the trip there. Side control now. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top. Jones is going for the arm submission. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Jones has got the full mount. 
man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting for us to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Jones gets hit by that leg kick. Working out of that southpaw stance. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the ton, just looking to recover. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Put him down! So, he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, these numbers aren't official, but they look right to me. 135 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And striking at a 45% clip tonight against the mauler Alexander Gustafson. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Right on the button. Three minutes to go. Nice strike landed there by Gustafson. Keep going with that. Real sneaky body kick. Come on, bud. Let's get those well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Forward, forward. Still nice body kick lands. Back and forth we go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch lands. Flips the punch nicely there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the bottom. Oh! Left hand punch from the clinch. Great upper body movements defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that's going to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Good punch lands. Jones getting tattooed by that stiff jet. Under a minute to go. 
All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Oh, huge block! And they set Ooh, what a punch. 20 seconds left. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. And they separate. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Waning seconds here of round number three. All right, try to pass here. As Global Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on the highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jones. Straight right hand now, just misses. Good stick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Unable to connect with the right hand. A little single collar tie there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big shots being landed on both sides. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. What a tricky head kick. Nice punch by Jones. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh. Oh, Superman punch. Huge elbow there. Snooze hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's hurt. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. That's a big strike right there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. 
Both fighters throwing heat now. Flush right hand is true. Oh, a huge block there. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, nice jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just missed with the elbow there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch lands over the top. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That's how you finish your fight. Gustafson gets hit with that hook. What He's gotta round. be careful here. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. <laughs> Blocks that strike. Big leg kick land. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Nice punch by Johnny Bump. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, Gustafson's inner thigh, a deep shade of purple at this point. Lands the right hand. Take down, take down, take down. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Punch over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. He lands a big knee to the body. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. Ooh. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big kick. And both guys really... Do you believe it? He got him! What a performance! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, 
and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, John! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.